The Dell XPS 15 is one of the best laptops you can buy right now. I use mine pretty much every day, but it's not perfect and there are a few things I'd like to see changed on next year's model, which will probably be called the Dell XPS 15 9570. So one thing we can pretty much guarantee is a spec bump and I'd like to see the next iteration of the XPS use Dell's upcoming 8th generation Coffee Lake processors. So if we do see a i7-8700HQ chip in the next XPS, that should both boost performance and improve battery life due to Coffee Lake's new, more efficient architecture. But the processor is only half the story and one of the best features about the XPS 15 is that it packs in a dedicated graphics card, currently the Nvidia GTX 1050, which makes it great for video editing and even moderate gaming at 1080p. However, the 1050 is still an entry level card and I'd love to see a GTX 1060 or maybe even a 1070 in next year's model. For example, the Gigabyte Aero 15 showed that manufacturers can fit a GTX 1060, which is on average around twice as powerful as the 1050 into a slim and light laptop. And some of this year's upcoming gaming laptops use the new Max-Q design standard like the Alienware 15 and Asus Zephyrus that offer the top end 1070 and 1080 cards, albeit slightly underclocked, in great looking and relatively compact form factors. So it would be awesome if Dell could fit a 1070 into the next XPS, although even with a redesign and better cooling, this would of course also impact battery life. So in terms of a spec bump, I'd like to see a Coffee Lake processor and a GTX 1060, or maybe even one of Nvidia's next gen 11 series of cards. Uh, I think that would be on the top of my list for what I'd like to see in the next one of these. The second thing is about the design. The Dell XPS 13 and 15 still look great, especially with their super slim Infinity Edge bezel, but this design and style will be three years old next year, so I would hope to see at least a moderate refresh of the XPS's look. I do like the carbon fiber palm rest, but it gets kind of greasy and discolored easily, and at two kilograms with a bigger 97 watt hour battery, it could stand to lose a couple of hundred grams to be competitive with other laptops, like the MacBook Pro 15, which is about 200 grams lighter. Also, I think we can all agree that the webcam, which is right here on the XPS 15, is pretty terrible, both in terms of quality and just the placement on the bottom bezel. Unless, of course, you like people looking up your nose when you're video chatting. So a better quality webcam with Windows Hello support, ideally above the screen, would be ideal. Even if Dell has to make the top bezel just a tiny bit bigger, I'd say it's worth it. Next up, the display. The current Full HD or 4K options are great, but it would be nice to have the choice between matte and glossy screens for both resolutions. I went with the Full HD model as I prefer the less reflective matte screen and also it doesn't have a big impact on the battery life like the 4K one does. But at the same time, I wish that had the same color accuracy as the 4K panel. So I feel like either way you go, you're compromising on something, whether it's the color accuracy or the battery life. So more display options would be nice on the next model. Next up, I'd like to see some of the ports being updated. It's already got a good selection, but it would be nice if we had HDMI 2.0, so we could output 4K60, and also one more USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port would be nice. And it would be great if the USB-C ports next time were the full speed four times Thunderbolt 3 ports rather than the current slower two times ports. That would mean that we could output to more high-res displays and even use external graphics cards to their full potential. Now, to be fair, that's not really a big deal for most people, but when I originally reviewed this, a lot of the comments, a lot of you guys did mention how it was a bit of a shame that the Thunderbolt 3 port wasn't the full speed that you get, say, on the MacBook Pro. And finally, for number five, I'd like to see better quality control from Dell. As much as I love the XPS 15, I genuinely do really like it. I have had a few problems with its build quality and a lot of other people have as well. For example, as I've mentioned a couple of times, this didn't quite sit flush on the desk. I had to twist the aluminum body a little bit. The bezels on the left for me pinch in a tiny bit. This may be different on your one. It may be different on the 4K model. And also some people complain of coil wind still on these XPS machines, although that's not something I've had myself. So Dell are pretty good at replacing them and uh, getting them fixed, but when you go and click that buy button, and you know, these are an awful lot of money, you really want to be able to buy something with confidence and not have to worry about as soon as it arrives, you have to RMA it or something. So I think for me, number five would be just overall better Q, uh, QC quality control with these machines. So that's my top five wish list for the next Dell XPS 15. And as I said at the beginning, most of these points kind of apply to the XPS 13 as well. But let me know what you'd like to see changed in the comments below. You can check out the links in the description if you do fancy yourself buying one of these, which considering we're not really expecting the next one until March 2018, probably announced in January CES time, I still highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked the video and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.